So this is your final assessment for the first half of the circular motion and gravitation unit. So it starts right back on day one where we talked about this formula, V equals 2 pi r over t, which could also be written V equals 2 pi r times f. It deals with t equals 1 over f and f equals 1 over t. Okay? It deals with centripetal acceleration being V squared over r. It deals with non-banked curves, banked curves, vertical circular motion, okay? all the stuff that's the first half of the unit. Okay? So some of these questions are really quick. Okay? Like especially if they're dealing with you know, these two formulas, they're pretty straightforward and pretty fast. Okay? Um, and then you've got you know, this one here, also not terribly complex. Right? You might have a couple of questions that incorporate, maybe you've got to do this step first in order to do this step or something like that. But there's nothing on this assignment that's like really out there complex. We've done lots of ones like everything on here already. Okay? So generally, this is an assignment where people boost their mark. All right, so question number one, okay, don't overthink it. You got the food blender, okay, uh, spinning around really, really fast, 21 meters per second. The radius is 5.3 centimeters or 0 0.053 meters, and you're just looking for how much time it takes them to make one revolution. Really, all I'm asking for there is, like, what's the, that you know what period is. Oh, whoops. Okay. Um, question number two, horse races around a circular track in a time of 118 seconds, speed 17 meters per second, looking for the radius of the track. Again, don't overthink it. Okay, it's only out of three marks, so there's not much to it. Okay. Uh, number three, okay, you got your magnetic tape being spooled from a supply reel to a take-up reel, so one, one reel to another. Okay. Uh, tape's moving at 0.191 meters per second, and the radius is 0 0.0762. What's the magnitude and direction? of the centripetal acceleration. Think about that and how easy direction will be for this question since it's asking about something that is centripetal. And centripetal is always the same direction, okay? Um, as it's uh, being wound on, okay? So that's all you're looking for there, okay? Uh, number four, race car travels constant speed around a circular track. They give us the radius, but watch out for that. They give it in kilometers, okay? It's 2.6 kilometers. Um, Car goes around uh, the track once in 360 seconds. Again, just looking for centripetal acceleration there. Okay, uh, number five, uh, ball shot from the plunger of a pinball machine. This is starting to become a generation gap question. I think you guys have seen a pinball machine, right? Mm -hmm. The little flappers and the ball bearings. Okay, um, so it goes around that first corner after it's uh, shot by the spring. Okay. And because of a centripetal force of 0 0.0028 newtons, the ball follows a circular path. We're given the radius. You're just looking for the speed of the ball. Okay. Again, not an overly difficult question. Um, number six, okay, person twirling a ball on a string in a horizontal circle. Okay. Radius is given. Ball travels around the circle in half a second. Okay. You're looking for the centripetal force. Then you're looking to tell me if the speed is doubled, what happens to the centripetal force? You can actually do that one without like redoing all your math. Okay, you can use common sense on that one. Um, and then, if not, by what factor does the centripetal force increase and why? All right, so make sure you have a bit of an explanation for the why part. Is that question is out of seven marks? Okay. Um, number seven, you're looking. That's a bank curve question. You're looking for the angle that the curve should be banked at. You know the radius and the speed. Don't overthink it. Okay. Uh, number eight. Uh, another bank curve question, okay, just looking for the speed, okay, if it was frictionless, again, don't overthink it, okay. Number nine is a vertical circular motion question. We've got apparent weightlessness, okay, being created for a brief instant when the plane flies over the top of a vertical circle. We know the speed, we're looking for the radius of the circle, okay. Uh, number 10, also a vertical circular motion question. We know the speed, we know the radius, okay. Um, and we're looking for the centripetal force and the normal force that is acting on the cycle. Okay. Uh, number 11, also vertical circular motion question, but this one's the bottom of the circle. Okay. You know the radius. Okay. Don't overthink it. Did, have I said that a lot? Yeah. Okay, really common theme here. Okay. Um, number 12, okay, another vertical circular motion question. Remember that if you have something that is hanging on a chain or a rope or a string, Tension replaces normal force, okay, for that one. Um, and for number 13, you have an unbanked curve, 
Okay, so you're looking to calculate. Um, for number 13, the tip I will give you is this. You have to calculate something from the first curve to use in the second curve. They have one thing in common, and it is the surface they are made out of. So you have to calculate something about that surface using the first curve, and then you can use that for the second curve. Okay, so it's kind of a two-part question. Probably that's the only really tricky question on the whole assignment. All right? If you have questions as you're working, just let me know. I can give you some cryptic hints, but this is how I know what you know. Okay? All right. Have at it. Yeah. Now you can go. Yeah.